Hello everybody, good day, how's it going? Chuck here. Alright, check it out. Y'all are wondering what in the world am I doing? Pretty simple actually. Uh, imagine this. You go to the scrap yards, you run around, you're gonna pull, I don't know, you're looking for something in particular, you're looking for an alternator for your Jeep or something. But you're thinking, hey, you know what, I'm here, I could be grabbing some extra sensors to keep in my toolbox or my glove box. In case, uh, you know, a cam position sensor goes out or a throttle position sensor, which is what we're going to show you how to test here in a moment. Uh, I know, I know, if you guys have been paying any attention to my channel at all, or if you're new to the channel, check it out. I've got a throttle position sensor test. But what I did on the video, on that video, I was testing it on the vehicle. Well, if you're in the junkyards, you don't have that option because more times than not, your junkyard there is going to pull the battery out of it and to lug around a 70 pound battery just to test the sensor is absolutely nuts, okay? If you want to do that, have at it, not I. Enter, little battery. 12 volt right here, and eh, four pounds or so, it's not very heavy at all. Small, compact little unit. Like I said, it is a 12 volt. You can pick these up at, um, I don't know, your Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. What they are, they're batteries for emergency lighting. You know, if you're Inside your commercial buildings, if the power goes out, those lights will light up the hallways. This is the battery that's inside those. And you have different kinds now. You got 6 volts and 12 volts. 6 volts will work for this purpose because this little adapter here drops voltage from 12 down to 5 volts. So a 6 volt battery will still work, but this right here is universal enough that this battery can be used for this little adapter for sensors. But you can also, if you want a power window motor, you know, plug it up to that power window motor, see if it works or not. You know, that way you know before you leave the yard. Okay, here's what we got. The battery here, like I showed, coming off of the hot post, goes into the center post of this little USB power adapter for like a GPS or you're charging your cell phone or whatever the case may be. Basically, you take and strip back enough wire now, if you want to totally booger this thing up, tear it apart, make it permanent, go for it. Because I probably will this one. But I just want to show you guys, hey, in a pinch, this is what we can do. Stick that wire up inside there. If I can get the thing to go. You see why I'm going to make this thing permanent eventually? Alright, you stick it up inside like that right there. And you turn loose that spring. It kind of holds it in place. At least a better deck on it there. Then over here, these little spring plates. This is the negative side of the USB adapter. Stick it wire beside there. Turn it loose. And look at here. See the little blue LED? That means we got 12 volt power coming from this. It means the world's good in the 12 volt era. So what's happening here is this little adapter right here, like I mentioned, is bringing the voltage down to 5 volts coming out of this. The wires are about to touch. This cable here is nothing more than just a standard uh, USB cable like you'd use for your printer. That's all it is. And I just cut the end of it off right there because we don't need this end at all. We need the end that fits inside this adapter, which is this end. So just cut it off. Now, I've already stripped this one back, but I'm going to show you what's going on inside the cable. I don't know if you pay attention to my videos much that, you know, you hear me comment about the ice cream man. People, it is 31 degrees outside and there's an ice cream man running up down the road. <sighs> okay, now that I threw my rant there. Cut the jacket off, take the razor blade or knife or whatever and just kind of walk around it. Be careful of the fingers. Obviously, this is a pretty decent quality cable on this one, huh? There, finally. All right. Then what we got is this metal wire mesh right here. And what that is is nothing more than like an EMI installation. Get from like um, high voltage devices emitting sound waves, so to speak, inside the signals. So anyway, we basically we don't need that. 
Then you got an aluminum insulation here. It's not, oh, this right here also acts as a ground contact on the metal can part here for some devices that uses that. Then inside here is where the wires were. This is where the wires we want. Okay, inside here, you got four wires green, black, white, red. Your white and your green are your data wires. It's what transfers, like when you plug your printer into it, it's these two wires are right here that shoot the signal to it saying, hey, you know, print something. These two wires are our power. Ground, obviously, and your hot. Five volts right here is what the USB runs off of, which is what this little green adapter is converting down to. So let me get my meter leads. And I didn't drop one of them. Where'd it go? Okay. You see right here on my wires, I'm going to put here, here. And I need to plug, plug this right here up. It helps a lot. It really does to get voltage over here. It, I mean, it's almost imperative. you got to have it plugged up. There, there. Now, check out the meter. You got five volts coming out those wires. See, I told you. So now, you see I've got them tied up. Now this is a pigtail right here that I pulled off of a um, Cherokee in the junkyard. And this throttle body right here actually came off a motor that I uh, put in my Jeep. But I like my other throttle body better so I swapped them out and this is the one I got left over. Uh, the little pigtail here. Like I said, I just, a Cherokee in the scrapyard, I just cut that off right there so I can do little tests like this. It's always good to have a few extra little tricks. So we snap that baby on there. I got too many wires going on here. If you're really smart, which obviously I'm being lazy today, which I will do later, is get those little alligator clips, put on the end of these wires right here, and make life a lot easier on yourself. But apparently I'm not out to make life easy on myself making this video, apparently. I don't know to stop myself. All right, now, ground your black lead. Black lead here on your black wire here. Then you go across this lead. Then look at your meter. Now, if you're showing five volts on your meter down here, if you happen to show five volts, I mean, you've got these wires backwards. So, when you come across that, if you've got low voltage, you know, like, you know, that's showing 0.62 volts, you know you've got it wired correctly. So now what we can do is stick this in there so it holds chef in place. I think. Alligator clips, trust me people, they make life easier. Now, again, see voltage here. We're gonna take a turn to the throttle blades. See how the voltage climbs? That's how you know you got good throttle position sensor. But then, so, and then check out my other video. I'll put a link in and show you guys in detail more on how to test the throttle position sensor. This is more about making one of these. Again, you know, you just got a standard USB cable. Uh, using your bolt, uh, volt multimeter. Try to say it all at one time, wasn't it? A couple of crap pieces of wire. This little battery right here you can pick up at your Home Depot. I'll tell you what, I'll find a battery online and I'll post a link at the bottom of it. That way you know use this battery and you're good to go okay let's just say in a pinch you don't have one of these batteries then what do you do enter the little nine volt battery and what you can do is take these off take the positive lead i think it's outside the camera shot there Positive goes inside there, turn loose the spring. Negative inside there, turn loose the spring. Look at there. We got voltage. Now remember, this is a 9 volt battery here. This converts it down to 5 volts, in which the sensor needs. Now, mind you, the 9 volt trick here, it works, but it eats the 9 volt battery up with a quickness. So, there's an option for you if you want to take that route. This little uh, snap cap right here for the 9 volt, uh, you can get those at Radio Shack for like 5. 
around three, five bucks for a pack of five or something like that. Or if you got an old toy or device or whatever that's jacked up, it's got this in it, that's got the plug in, cut that rascal out of there and you got you one. So, pretty much that's about it in a nutshell. Again, if you want to see how the, in detail, how to test the throttle position sensor, I'll link the video. I'll put a link down below for the battery and wire. Come on, you should have some other stuff laying around your shop. If not, run down to your auto parts store and pick up a little roll. I'll put a link to the USB cable. And I showed you guys how to cut and modify. And do, 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 do. you can pick these little things up by anywhere. But heck, I've, if I find one on the last place, I'll put in a link down there too. So, sounds good. And so, in closing. Wings right here. Rocket. Oh, come on. I didn't say I was a comedian, but I tried to be funny. Seriously now, you got a car charger for your cell phone. Who would have ever thought to use that to test sensors? 12 volt comes in here, 5 volt comes out here. 5 volts is the, port, is the reference voltage for most of your sensors on most vehicles. And yes, I tested this, I uh, demonstrated on a Jeep, but my Mustang, some of the uh, I'm converting it to a fuel injection system eventually, but the sensors that's going on it are 5 volt re uh, reference. I've got a full size Bronco, the sensors on it, 5 volt reference. Uh, the GMC that I did a ninja swap on, which none of this has ever been on YouTube. The, some of the parts that come off of it, 5 volt reference for like the map sensor, for opposition sensor. It works on several different type of vehicles, so not just Jeeps. And here's how it works. Here is your hot post on your battery, feeding this wire. Here, negative post off your battery, feeds this wire. Red, black, red off your battery, and black off your battery. Pretty simple. USB cables, they down a dozen by on any kind of device just about anymore. If you've got some kind of computer geek friend that may probably have some of these laying around, maybe a freebie to you, but if you had to buy one, they're not very expensive either. I've got several of these things laying around because I do computers for a living. Oh, put the little alligator ends on her. Uh, I'm going to do a detailed build. My son felt, found this right here in a junkyard. And so what I'm thinking of actually doing is just rip this thing apart and convert it completely into that purpose for testing sensors. If you guys want to see a detailed build video on that, leave it in the comments below. Tell me you want to see the detailed build. And I would more than happy to hook, you know, hook up the video for you. Love answering the comments. Shows you guys are interacting with me. Ask me questions. Tell me what you've done. It's really cool. So, with that being said, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. When you subscribe, you will be notified via email every time I release one of these videos. So, subscribe. Thumbs up. Come on, you do it. So, also, Google+, Plus, YouTube, your YouTube channel. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those other social media places. Share out the videos to those. Spread that knowledge. When you spread knowledge, you're helping other people. Helping people is a good thing. That's why I like making these videos so much. I love the comments. It gets how much, hey, man, your videos saved me so much money. I love knowing that my few minutes of my time did that to help you guys out. Love it. So also, to spread a little bit more knowledge, Go to www.fixjeeps.com. My website, these videos I'm making, are all piled up on that one website, along with a lot of printable media that you can download and print and take it out to your Jeep and diagnose this, diagnose that. Check it out. You'll like it. So with all that being said, I've told you about the social media. I've told you on a recap. Uh, my website, check it out. So I don't know what else I can do for you except for one vital thing. Everyone, have yourself a great day. Peace. Later. Oh, wait a minute. My hair's messed up. That's the only way I can have hair. And you notice? Hello? Bald hair.